Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about getting in over your head. So let's get into it. So the question in question was a bit of a story and it goes, Good day, Mr. Christensen. Oh, ho, ho. it starts off well. I am sorry to bother you with this small request for advice, but I would be very appreciated. I am a very appreciative, appreciative follower of the information shared on your YouTube channel. I am in Zimbabwe, Africa, and I think it's really valuable. Well, thank you. That's that's a far far away, but thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, I th would like to ask your opinion on what tools I can use to build a site, site such as TransferWise. A prospective client sent me a cold email wondering if I could build something similar for them. I know JavaScript well and I'm decent with React. I can also learn new things really fast. What skills and tools would you think I would need to pull this off? So, I actually cheated a little bit here because I kind of had to. Uh, and I went and had a look at this application and from what my understanding it is a uh, transfer system it's a transfer uh, tra uh, it's an international uh, money transfer application where in essence you're paying them to m give out money somewhere else and they are most likely going to take a little bit of an overhead for you to just be able to move that m money around this is a uh, very popular uh, st well it's not just startups but a lot of startup ideas are oriented around the same sort of thing and they're making quite a lot of money around uh, from this I'm not going to tell you exactly why, but you can imagine why. So, when I had a look at this, and I, I wrote back to the subscriber, luckily he kind of explained later on, because from this question, my first gut feeling was, and I'm not sure if any other seniors are listening into this, but your, I, my first gut feeling was, since he says that he knows JavaScript and he's decent at React, I am guessing by the sheer fact that he's asking me for advice on what tooling to use for this application, that he is a fairly de a junior profile. He hasn't done all that much work in software engineering, software development yet. And that's fine, there's no problem with that. But what I wrote to him and I said is, I need to understand if what you're trying to ask here is, should I build the UI? Or should, like, should like, are you building the UI of this thing? and someone else gonna, is going to take care of the back end, or are you going to be the full stack developer and build the whole thing? Because if you're going to build the whole thing, you are way most likely over your, in over your head here. There are very few things that are both technically and legally as complicated to deal with if we're talking about compliance and things of this nature as money. Whenever you're taking in credit card information or anything like that, I mean, it might be different if you're in uh, in Africa. I don't know exactly what the law system looks like there, but here in Europe, it is a shit show. There is so like if you're going to do international, like you have to have compliance in place, and that is not just at a like it's not like you you go and get compliance approvals in a week or a day or something like that. It takes a lot of time and resources and usually you need a specialist of some sort. You need someone who really knows this stuff and then you have to work with the government to actually get approved to do this sort of thing. And I'm fairly certain that you may you may not have that sort of uh, experience and on top of that it's very it's probably not likely that you will be able to do that by yourself unless the product is like super super long but I'm just kind of spitballing here I'm not exactly sure because this I mean if the client was asking you to build the whole thing it might be that the client is I mean I don't even know who the client is so it could be this random little company somewhere who goes wow we really want that thing we have no idea what it entails to build it but let's just ask a random programmer they know this stuff let's see what happens and if that is the scenario like I really urge you back away from this you don't want to find yourself in a in a situation where you're way in order, over your head however if you're gonna build a front end which I had a look at this application as well and it seemed to be a fairly straightforward forward your interface a I honestly I was a little bit saying that it's borderline that I would do this myself if I were to do this or I it was my job I, it's borderline that I would do it with just vanilla JavaScript that's and just CSS and HTML because it was uh, 
I, at least the initial thing is fairly simple if you're just going to make a landing page or something like that but I'm guessing you're going to build the whole application and it's a more sophisticated application than that especially when you're dealing with money transfers and th well I'm not saying specifically money transfers but the general UI at least from my per perspective you can go and have a look at it yourself if you're interested transferwise.com is it was a it is an interface where I would say you should probably go with react here and I gave the advice back because the subscriber actually wrote back and said no I'm just gonna make the make the UI which made me very relieved that uh, it's it's just that part and if the, and as I said to him if that's the case stick to react yeah I would include react router and probably use redux as well you don't have to use redux if you don't want to but I'm I'm just you. I'm just saying that you should see, not because it's bad to use the context API and like the native stuff. It's just that I think that it might be easier for you to use Redux at this stage because it's very established and a lot of the guides out there are using Redux. Whereas, which is kind, of, but that comes back to this thing I've said a few times, guys. If something gets popular and it becomes like the de facto standard, it's going to stick around for a long time because people get excited about it. We create a lot of content and then it becomes much more relevant in the search engines and so forth. Even though you could do without it, but if you're a complete, I, I argue. I mean, if you're really new to this stuff it's better to go with the safe thing in my opinion even if it's not the most perfect or bleeding edge and performant thing that you could possibly use so what I want you to take away from this is that if you you, you should sometimes say no to projects because some projects are really really hard from a, not just from a technical perspective if from a uh, legal perspective from like do you, we have to kind of, and this is hard if you're a beginner so I'm actually very happy in many ways that this person reached out to me so I I hope I gave good advice here because if I had been in this situation I, I at the very least have worked like I know like I work with compliance in my job and we I know what it means to actually get the licensing and actually set up all the infrastructure and like the security aspects to it all it's a pretty big deal like it's even it's not like just at the code level it's in hosting solutions it's also about internal mechanics in your company security in the company itself so when you know this stuff you kind of get a feeling for should I say yes should I say, say no because some products are simply not feasible to take on as a single freelancer you need a team behind it that's usually the way it goes and some products are sized well so that you can take it on as a single developer and doing the UI for this application for sure you can do this by yourself and hopefully he will realize that the tips I gave away were very simple things because just saying that well you should use react react router and redux that is like saying that you should have like bread and butter before to make a sandwich if you're in the react space this is like the boring obvious choices and i think that's the best bet for someone who's a little bit unsure of how react works and also is seems to be fairly fresh in that scenario it's always in my opinion best to stick with the obvious boring thing don't get adventurous with a serious project unless unless you feel that you have the experience to try things out have a great day